Hi, I'm Suzanne Bates, and this is Thoughts for Tuesday. So I'm just back from vacation. You have to admit vacations aren't what they used to be. Remember when you could turn on your autoresponder vacation message and people actually believed you weren't reachable? These days, nobody's fooled by vacation messages. They know you're not actually checking out. They know you're checking email. Otherwise, you'd face a tsunami in your inbox when you got back. You can't even use the excuse that you're traveling internationally anymore. My husband and I were in Bora Bora last November and I had five bars on my iPhone. We got better reception off the deck of our hut on stilts in the Pacific Ocean than we do at home. And yes, I was checking email. You know, it seems to me there's a whole new etiquette evolving around vacation messaging. For example, you can make someone feel very special, vacation worthy, if you respond to their message while you're hanging out in Maine or sitting on the beach in Florida. But I'll tell you what, I think we should rethink this. I'm not saying turn off your email for a week, that's up to you. But if you're going to work on vacation, you'd better play on vacation too. Vacation doesn't mean relocating your office at the beach, it means playtime. You have to acquire the skill of disengaging. I call it vacaging. Vacaging means learning to integrate communication into your day without allowing work to overtake your life. It means putting a boundary around the time that you will spend on work communication activities. You see, the problem isn't the phone or the laptop or the iPad. It's the person attached to those devices. You're the one attached. You have to extract yourself and turn the darn thing off. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of people in your life who don't like you, and you're never going to come back from vacation sporting that enviable, rested, relaxed, tanned, and buffed self. Look, 24-7 communication is a challenge, but we can't blame the people who invented remote access. Three principles at work with vacaging. First, you're in charge of your life, and that's true even if you have a big workload. Second, go with your gut. If you feel like playing, play. If you feel like working, work. Integrate, but don't let work take over. Third, and very important with email, be brief. When you are disengaging, vacaging, challenge yourself to use the fewest words to convey the most meaning. In fact, do that all the time and you'll dramatically cut your email time. Hey, if you're already receiving thoughts for Tuesday, let me know what you think of our videos. And if this video was forwarded to you and you'd like to get them regularly, just go to Bates-Communications.com. And don't forget to disengage. Happy vacaging.